What a nice day. Birds are chirping. And it's time to get ready for Vegas, baby. Vegas, here we come. I'm taking the CG. I'm taking the Ohm Flyer electric e-bike and I'm taking the beast mode so when you prepare for a ride out guys make sure you have tubes tools and air in your tires. It's real simple. You want all that stuff. Usually we stop at like stores or whatnot, but if you don't feel like waiting in line, bring some beef jerky or something. And a water. All right. Ugh. So, the ride out is Saturday and we will be there Friday morning. I'm trying to get my son to go, but he's just a lazy goat. He, he's probably gonna stay home. That guy's gonna stay home probably. One of my bike life buddies dislocated his leg or his knee. So he asked me if I could bring my e-bike so he can ride it. I'll tell you about, let me tell you guys something. These bike life people, man, they want to be out there. The guy has a dislocated knee and he still wants to be out there Saturday. That shit's dope. That's just dope to me. So I'm going to let him use my e-bike so he doesn't have to pedal. Oh, there's my bolt I was missing. Ugh. There's my stem bolt I was missing. So the beast mode's way over there. I gotta put the end caps on the wild man. So, we're just gonna have to pull this thing out. Hopefully it starts. Uh-oh. Lights are on. Oh, we got juice. We got juice. These old cars, got a pump. Got a pump. Get that fuel up there. I haven't drove this in months. Fire right up. Well, amazing. Let this thing warm up. Nova 396 big block you know what it is if you guys want to check my other YouTube page SS 396 rat you will see a bunch of videos of my race car and this car are 
the race car I used to have. So, Jill wants to take her beast mode finally. I haven't rode this bad boy in a long time. Nowhere. Gotta clean that bad boy up. Beast mode. Clean. When I first got it, it was supposed to be my bike. This was supposed to be my freaking beast mode. And then, Shell took it. And it became hers. And she was like, I want pink on it. I was like, pink? Pink's not gonna look good. What the hell? But it came out pretty nice. I even got the Ride Out Supply sticker kit with the pink background, which is pretty dope. Ride Out Supply reflective, reflective pink spoke covers, some Odyssey pink pedals. Yeah, it, 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 it did not come out too shabby. So we're gonna clean this bad boy up, put some air in the tires, make sure it's good for Friday because I'm not gonna have time to do anything Friday because we're leaving Friday morning. So yeah. Let's get this party started. Once again, guys, look up bike work stand on eBay. Dude, 45 bucks. Been using this for two years. Cheap. And it's good quality. It's awesome. It does what you need. Ugh. Forty-five bucks. I got lucky and they sent me two on accident. Gave one to my buddy. That was about two years ago. There it is. Half link. Yes, sir. All right, first thing we want to do, we need to get some air in these tires. For the 2.8, 3.0s, 30 PSI, guys. If you go over 30, you're risking it. You're risking a blown tire. You think because the tire's bigger that it needs more air? We're wrong. If you read right here, it always tells you what you need. Right there, it says inflate to 30 PSI max. So I do 30. Even on the 2.8, uh, 2.8 uh, Speedsters, three or 30 PSI. These bad boys, the skinnies, I do 40. Get you a Ryobi power inflator. Home Depot. But the trick is, guys, it does not come with a battery. This thing's like 30 bucks. Maybe 40. But the freaking battery is like $90. But I already had two of these for the power tools that I already have for around the house. So I got lucky. So hopefully you guys have an 18 volt Ryobi battery laying around for your other tools.
sometimes the PSI acts funny if you don't have a fresh battery. So there's a fresh battery. The PSI it'll it'll jump around. So make sure you bring a brand new charged battery. Yeah. Okay, that's too much air. Start over. It's gotta be right. Alright. Let a little bit of air out. It's at 33. That should be good. Nice and soft. Alright guys, so you can get this at AutoZone. This is what I use. It kind of protects the paint and the hydro dip or whatever you got. Um, all you do is spray it on and wipe it off. Real simple. It's like washing your bike without water. Make sure you don't get it on your brakes because then you'll have ceramic coated brakes and you don't want ceramic coated brakes. Okay? You don't want that. Especially if you're a willy guy because you're going to be sliding, slipping and sliding. your rims always spray at the bottom don't be spraying up here because if you get it on the disc brakes you're gonna be crying so just spray towards the bottom and, and turn the wheel now guys you only have to do this if you care about having a clean bike if you don't care about having a clean bike feel free to just ride a dirty bike but for a ride out, before we race, I always like to show up with, you know, a clean looking bike. I'm just using this to get all this nasty dirt off and dust. And then I'll get a microfiber towel and go over it again. But I don't want to screw up my microfiber towels getting all this nasty dirt off the rims you know what I'm saying look how gold that rim is now that all the dirt's off it doesn't look dull anymore Dusty, look at this, dust. This thing probably haven't been rode in like a year, at least. She always rides her, uh, her Vans bike. She rides her Vans bike a lot. But yeah, this thing's dusty. Get this chain.
chain. Guys, don't get your hands stuck in this chain, okay? Just hold it right there and just let the chain go around. You don't want to put your hands near the sprocket, trying to clean stuff over there. Just put it in the towel and twist. And it'll look like brand new again. Okay. Then you get your sprocket, clean that. Clean your cranks up. Make them look spiffy. Always try to make your stuff look spiffy, guys. Nobody wants to be riding around a dirty ass bike. So now you got air in your tires. You cleaned your bike, almost cleaned it. And what do you do next? Guys, tighten everything. Go over your bike with tools stem, wheels, wheel nuts, pedals, seat clamp, rear axles, chain tensioners. If you have chain bolts, that will make your crank fall off. Check your crank bolts. You know, some of these ride outs are dangerous, dangerous areas, and you don't want to get caught up with one crank in like a bad area because not all ride out groups stop when, when a rider, you know, breaks down. Some of them, they just keep going. They don't even know that you broke down. So. You want to check all this stuff and have tools to fix it if something happens. <clears throat> Crank down. Make sure this stuff is tight, guys. Very important. Tri flow lubricant. Just a little dabble goes a long way. Just a little dabble. If you guys saw my last video for the brake adjustment, this was having a little rubbing issue. I used my tool, no more rub. Perfect setup. Oh my God, beast mode seems so damn heavy. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Oh. 
Lord. This bike seems heavy as hell. <sighs> what a nice day today. Taking the CG. Bike number two, ready to go, CG. I didn't really have to oil the chain on this one because I ride it, so it's it hasn't been sitting long. This one was easy to get ready. Tightened everything up, cranks, rear hubs, check the brakes, check your uh, seat clamp, your stem bolts, your fork bolts, your pedals, everything that you think that might have come loose or could come loose, just check it. Make sure your chain tension's good. You're good to go. Bike number two. Can't fit this on the bike rack, guys, or the bike uh, stand. So I work on it from the floor. Nice little wipe down, because I'll be going in the dirt so it gets dirty.
I have two tubes because usually me and Chell ride together. So just in case we both pop a damn tire, I'm ready. So this bike is ready to go and we're ready to go to Vegas guys and girls. Remember guys, like, comment, subscribe. And the content continues. I'm just doing what I like guys, that's it. Doing what I love, riding bikes.